Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Toxic HD and welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day today. If you are new around here, do me a favor, click down there, hit that little subscribe button, turn on those post notifications so you never miss a post on the channel here. So let's jump right into the video. All right, guys, so a couple of days ago, Call of Duty rolled out a new update, kind of changing up a little bit of the gun's damages and some attachments and properties and stuff like that. Now, there is no new crazy meta out in Warzone right now, but with this update, it did bring one of my favorite SMGs kind of back into the limelight out of the shadow of the OTS-9, which is currently the meta in Warzone right now. Now, the gun we're going to be going over today in this video is, obviously, you've seen it in the title, you saw it in the thumbnail, the Bullfrog. Now, the Bullfrog has been one of my favorite SMGs in Warzone, whether it's paired with my AR, whether it's paired with my sniper, whatever. I love running the Bullfrog, but it has been kind of shadowed lately with a few of the other updates and the new metas that have been running out right now. But with this update, it did kind of bring it back into the limelight and I actually have been running it more than I have been my OTS-9. And in my opinion, I actually think the Bullfrog is meta over the OTS-9. Now I'm gonna leave that decision ultimately up to you guys. Throw this class on in one of your class setups. Test them out, compare it to the OTS-9. Do you hate it, do you love it? I don't care, let me know down in the comments down below what you think. I wanna hear you guys' feedback on this build. But that is enough of me blabbering your ear off. Let's jump right into the build. All right, guys, so jumping into this Bullfrog build, we're going to start off with the muzzle. You're going to want to run the GRU suppressor. Now, the GRU suppressor gives us that bump in sound suppression, vertical recoil control, bullet velocity, and effective damage range with just a slight down tick and aim down sight speed, aim walking steadiness, and aiming stability, which you can see down in the mobility and control section of that. It's just a very little just a very little degrade in those two mobility and control but if you look up at the top three you get a very big bump in accuracy damage and range which is what we're going to use that assessment for as well as the concealment of it being a suppressor now if you don't have the gru suppressor i recommend at least just running the sound suppressor but let's move on to the next attachment all right guys so for the next attachment we're going to be talking about the barrel and for the barrel, you're going to want to run the 7.4 inch Task Force barrel. The Task Force barrel gives us that uptick in effective damage range as well as an uptick in bullet velocity and strafe speed. It does give us a little bit of a down, down tick in vertical recoil control and horizontal recoil control, but they're very, very minor whenever you compare it to the upticks in the damage range and mobility that you get from using the Task Force barrel. All right, guys, so on the next attachment we're gonna be looking at is the laser. Now for the laser, you are going to want to run the Tiger Team Spotlight. Now Tiger Team Spotlight gives us a huge uptick in movement speed and aim walking movement speed. Now it does actually have a little bit of a downtick in the control, but you do get a massive uptick in, in the mobility of this bullfrog. And when you compare the two, it is an SMG. You're not gonna be running, you know, crazy long distance shots with this, plus a lot of the other attachments that we're going to go over actually do uptick the control a little bit to kind of counteract that down tick that you get from using this laser all right guys so for the next attachment we're going to be talking about is the under barrel now for the under barrel you're going to want to run the bruiser grip which gives us that uptick in movement speed and hip fire accuracy so it even gives us more mobility as well as kind of counteracts that laser down tick and control it's not as much of a bump up as we would like but it does kind of help offset that down tick that the tiger team spotlight gives us all right guys so the last attachment we're going to be talking about is the stock now for the stock you're going to want to run the spetsnaz pkm stock the pkm stock gives us a massive uptick in our mobility which is what you want out of an smg you want to be able to sprint all over the place juke out your enemies break their ankles and leave them wondering what just happened whenever you just split right out the window and they don't even know what happened. Now it does have a little bit of a downtick in the accuracy, but it's nothing that we need to worry about because the other attachments that we have thrown on have given us quite a bit of a bump in our accuracy, even out that little bit of a downtick that we get from the down tick from running the PKM stock. All right guys, that is it for this build. That's all the attachments that we need to cover for the Bullfrog. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys throw this class on let me know what you think down in the comments down below it's been with Tyson KST. i hope you guys have a fantastic afternoon and we'll catch you guys later